Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder. Today I'm going to be taking out the Crusader Mark III. This is a rank 1 battle rating 2.7 tank for the British Tech Tree. It comes equipped with a 57mm 6 pounder OQF Mark III cannon with 65 rounds and the 7.92mm Beza machine gun with 3,375 rounds. Um, main gun reloads with 4 seconds so that's with a ace crew and fully maxed out crew slot as you can see just down here um, the reason I'm taking this out today and not nothing bigger is because I noticed in the events and tournaments tab um, they were running events with the low tier British tanks which are actually quite fun um, as you can see not a lot of ammo uh, but you will get a very healthy 26 miles an hour out of this tank um, that's including across like quite rough terrain. It is pretty nippy. Um, as for the armour, it's pretty much non-existent. 20 millimeters at the front there. Um, it makes really no difference where you get shot. 50 there, but no one's going to shoot in the heaviest part. Um, you will take a good few hits, but occasionally you will just get one shot in. It's inevitable, it's one of the things in War Thunder you can't get away from. Um, you just have to deal with it. The tank is very resilient though. If you can angle yourself, you can bounce shots, but be prepared to have um, a bit of a grind on your hand to get this spaded, because it can be a bit of a shit. <laughs> Inside the crew compartment though, you can see why. These are only three crew members and the ammunition is sat behind them all. So it's not going to go down well if a Panzer Mark III or IV shoots them with a APCV round. So you've got fuel tanks there which are quite large over the engine and the transmission. Um, other than that, not much else to say about the, the armour. Uh, the modifications, as you can see, are all done, and I am equipped with a talisman. Even I'm researching the tier five vehicle at the moment; it makes no difference. Um, the Mark Nine shot is the one I'm going to be using. It doesn't do the greatest amount of penetration, but at this battle rating, you really don't need to. So what I'm going to do now is close this, and we're going to jump straight into some gameplay here now. Do remember this is sim so you're not going to be able to see the tank and I hope you enjoy. Okay so welcome to Sinai. I am currently sat here in kind of a sneaky little spot by some rocks for that very reason. <laughs> Just to pick off a couple of unwary tanks and that was a decent shot but I really want to try to stop him in his tracks. That for some reason didn't hit the track. Let's go for the engine. Okay one more for the engine. Hang on, that should do it, yeah, you're not going anywhere now. Let's try and get that little flat bit. <clears throat> yeah, that was a bit of a um, dodgy one. One thing about this, the reload is really good. Let's set this guy on fire. There we go, right. I'm going to let him burn for a second. As soon as he puts it out, I'll set him on fire again. And as soon as he puts that out, I'll set him on fire again. And keep a close eye on the surroundings. Has this guy got extinguishers? I don't think he has. <laughs> no, he hasn't. Okay, right. So back to the binoculars, and I'm going to keep an eye on my surroundings over here. And bring the turret around a bit. One thing about Sim, you will rely on binoculars. They're very handy for realistic battles, but in Simulator, they are definitely your your go-to thing. Um, now I keep seeing these dead tanks, like the tank Rex, and thinking they might be tanks. It's been a while since I've played Sim Battles. <laughs> I've got to get used to it again. I know they're trying to get to our cap point. Oh, there we go, right hand side. What is that? It is a Panzer IV. Let's try and take this guy out quick. One thing about Sim Battles, if you've never played it before, is the fact that when you get shot, there is no little red indicator that says where you got shot from. So unless you've seen the shot coming in, 
you won't have any clue as to where that come from and that is a second tank Dan Panzer 4 F1 I was not expecting an F1 but that's fine I'll take that you didn't see me and it's too late by the time you did and back to the binoculars as you can see we just want to scan um, I'm probably going to move from here because they're going to clock on quite quickly as to where I am and what I'm doing because these games do tend to run on for a, a little while and you don't want to go charging straight in especially with a lightly armoured tank like this you're going to end up dying very quickly you do however have two spawns with light and medium vehicles but you really don't want to throw the first one away just by charging straight at the enemy and hoping for the best um, let's see are we capped as um, trying to work out a decent route here hmm I don't know I think I might go up and behind and along and then see <coughs> we're going to give it a few more minutes I think just to double check because no, oh, there's incoming fire over there, was there? Okay. Ah, and their, their team's capturing there. Yeah, I believe we're going to move in a minute. Because I cannot see anything. No, that's one of ours. Okay, then. Oh, bugger. <laughs> oh, dear. <coughs> right, okay. So, as you see there, I spent too long in that one spot and I got clocked. Um, they probably told each other where I was on the team chat, but I've respawned, I've moved up, and that guy is sat in a very similar position to where I was, and he is trying to engage this um, little Stuart tank over here. So I'm going to see if I can't get a few shots on him, maybe take him out. Um, I just got to position myself so I can see him. Alright, okay, I should be able to get a shot on him here. And that was a decent shot. Taking out his, um, yeah, his commander and really hurt his gun up, but now he's moved back. So I'm going to drop some artillery on him. And I think I'm going to manoeuvre myself around this large rock here. And come round from his flank and try and surprise him before he does too much. So I'm going to skip the travel time for you so you don't have to put up with it and I'll catch you when I'm there. So I've made it right round to the other side and I'm attempting to outflank this guy. I haven't seen um, him kill anyone at the moment. I think he's just got a kill. So we're going to cautiously just come round here just in case he's aware of where we are. But I very much doubt it. I don't think he's even noticed, no, and there he is. One decent shot should take him out now. Bingo. There we go. So remember, flanking is always the best option. Don't go charging headlong. And we're here, and I have repositioned myself once again, close to their cap, just looking for any tanks coming from their spawn zones without spawn camping. And there we go, the Panzer IV, and I am going to track him and see if we can't stop him for before he tries to cap our zone and I will skip the travel time again so I'm about halfway across the map here and I've just picked up his tracks um, by this I don't know church mosque religious building whatever the hell it is and I'm going to continue to follow these um, or not because they just stopped now I'll definitely see him drive down this way, so I don't know why they stopped there, it's a bit weird. But it's obvious where he's going. There's no other destination for him down here except for the capture zone. So I'm going to continue along here and I think I just see some more tracks over there. And, oh, there we go. Just to my right there's some more tracks. This might be the same guy. <coughs> it should be, because he's the only one I've seen go down this way. And then we've got a Mardart. Is that knocked out? The crew's in the slump. I'll double check. I mean, that guy looks pretty dead sat right there, but you don't want to take chances. Yeah, okay, that's dead. So our capture zone is directly in front there. 
and I am going to continue to scan just in case he's waiting behind some of these rocks. But yeah, there he is, he's on B. <clears throat> I think I'm going to drop some artillery, but it's quite a large area, so I'll just whack it right in the middle. You never know, some people just sit out in the open. Maybe he's one of them idiots. And we might get a lucky artillery strike. But I'm not counting on it. But then again, I wasn't counting on that first guy in the stug not to have any fire extinguishers. So sim battles isn't really for the novice player, I wouldn't say. But fair due to the guy. And there we go, there's his tracks. So let's see if I can track where he's gone. Whoa! Okay, maybe it wasn't his track. Where the fuck did he come from? A little fucking error there with the, with the graphics. Thanks for that, guy. Then I almost shacked myself. Now, uh, is he over here? No. Oh, 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 oh. That comes from the left-hand side. No, the right-hand side. Hang on. Yep, there he is. Oh, Jesus, I think I've had it. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh, thank God he's shooting at the other guy. What an idiot. Oh my God, come on. Quick, quick, quick. As I said before, this tank, it will get penned easily. But as you see, it is very resilient. I managed to bounce a couple of good shots there and I killed him. That was very, very close. Okay then, guys. This is a completely different map and a completely different game. Um, after the last kill, about two, three minutes later, the timer actually ran out. So, <laughs> um, no one won. So, this is the second battle of El Alamein, and this is my first kill. Um, I thought the last one was a bit sparse on kill, so I thought I'd, I'd add in a few more from a different game that was actually quite enjoyable. So, this is my first one on the A cap. Um, I captured this just after. But I want to point out, this little tank up there, this Panzer IV, he was a complete pain in my ass for a good, say, half of the match, hiding at the back of the sand dune. But don't worry, I do get to deal with this guy eventually. So, I was on my way around to deal with that Panzer IV, but a teammate called this guy out in the desert, saying it was another one, um, manoeuvring round from B. And... Sure enough, there he is, and we're going to line that up, and miss. So, <laughs> let's try that again. I'm going to try and take out these drivers straight away, and there we go. Um, just keep pumping shots into the guy, really. Because these don't carry any explosive um, filler, you pretty much have to end up shooting out crew members. But you've got enough ammo and enough time to reload to do that, so... Uh, yep, and there's that guy again, he's repositioned and he's shooting at me again, so I'm going to call him some air support and hope they answer my call. Okay, so I'm almost up on this Panzer IV. The um, two guys in planes are Hurricane, and I'm not sure what the other guy was firing, but he's um, returned to base at the moment to rearm. I've both made attack runs on this guy, hitting him, but I'm not sure how much damage they've done to him, and there he is. It's if you take him out. Oh, he's missed with a rocket. Oh, but I haven't. And I bounced that shot, which was quite nice. Didn't bounce that one, though. That one hurt. Um, I've lost turret control, but it doesn't matter because I'm still on target. Guys, this is going to be the end of the video here. Um, I appreciate everyone coming along and viewing my content. If you enjoy it, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Um, possibly a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time for another episode of War Thunder. Until then, have a great day.